Now, security analyst and executive director for the Center for Human Security and Peace Building, Adip Sani, has urged government and stakeholders within the African continental free trade area, the AFTA, to improve security in the sub region for economic growth and development. He spoke to TV Africa Business News at a workshop session by Action Aid Ghana under the theme after and regional integration, reflections and opportunities for decent work and human security. A lot of work has been done in the past. Um, however, there's still a lot more that has to be done. But in the first instance, it's a privilege to have in the um, after secretary right here um, in Ghana. However, Ghana cannot do it alone. Um, there's the need for us to um, collaborate uh, with other countries, not just within the sub-region, but even beyond. Uh, security, for example, is a shared responsibility. And um, one of the speakers also talked about the infrastructure. I think that is important. Do we have the necessary infrastructure to be able to push this agenda to achieve what it has been set out to do? I think it's, it's a problem. Um, road network is, is still a problem. Um, uh, the traffic situation, uh, protecting the local businesses, which obviously is an aspect of human security, preventing um, farmer header clashes, preventing uh, Ghanaian, Nigerian retailer clashes and all that. So a lot of work. Um, I must say it has to be done, but I'm particularly excited that the Secretariat has um, agreed in principle that yes, indeed, it is work in progress. That is, when, when this comes to actualization, uh, you would have people from beyond Ghana, from all over the continent doing business with you. Um, there are new tricks so far as cyber criminality is concerned. In Ghana, we are very much accustomed to someone calling you, saying he has mistakenly sent money to your mobile money, so please send it back. But elsewhere, you might have different tricks altogether. That is why there's the need for awareness creation. And thankfully, in Ghana, we have a cyber security document which was first passed in 2016 and has since been reviewed. And um, it's built on certain pillars, and one of the most important pillars is education. Um, we have a lot of Ghanaians who don't even understand, or they are not even aware, there's something called after. You know? So there's the need for education to be done, um, for people to become self-aware, and for people to know what their role is so far as protecting uh, the cyberspace of Ghana is concerned. Um, government also has its role, own role to play, but like I keep indicating, this cannot be done by Ghana alone. There's a need for that collaboration. Uh, and I'm hoping that going forward, um, the integration would go beyond trade to other aspects of, of human life, including uh, cybersecurity as well.